Almost a hundred years passed from the early forms of color photography after 1860 to the mass distribution of color film. In the 1930s, color reversal films could be purchased for the first time in the U.S. and in Germany. At that time, 36 images, including laboratory development, still cost the equivalent of a good $50. Until the 1960s, artistic photographers only rarely could afford the expensive material. Most of the pictures were taken by wealthy amateurs. Without intending to, they often celebrated their own prosperity and the fruits of technical progress in their pictures. Many results of the new color process became hidden icons in the family archive which was only opened for rare occasions and was often stored unused for decades. However, the social reality beyond the world of the upper middle class was rarely seen in the pictures. There were only a few exceptions. Most photographers were men people of color were rarely to be seen in early photo slides. The cultural memory of color photography is predominantly white and wealthy. Nevertheless, we owe these photographers almost timeless impressions of an era in which there was no virtual simulation yet, in which people were present only in their real physical environment the telephone was still a privilege, and the world population was less than a third of today's figure. Countries and cultures beyond the West seem to overcome their distance through travel impressions of a global class, which very often unintentionally created time documents for regions in which the color film was only spread much later. India, for example, had a good 360 million inhabitants in 1950. The literacy rate was less than 10%. After almost 200 years of British colonial rule, the Republic of India was about to be founded. Turkey was a strictly secular state, continuing the reforms of its first president, Ataturk. The Ottoman Empire had ended just 30 years earlier. In Egypt, a revolution ended European influence and turned the former kingdom into an independent state. The last colonial wars were raging in North Africa and Asia. China was one of the poorest countries in the world where life expectancy was 35 years when the Communist Party gained power in 1949. Eastern Europe was under Stalinist rule. The era of color reversal film ended almost 50 years later. The new digital recording methods became established worldwide in the 1990s. In some countries, the visual culture jumped directly from the black and white era into the digital age. With ever more refined film qualities, the manufacturers tried to counter the emerging digitization. With films of unprecedented sensitivity to light, with the highest contrast and the best color brilliance. Back then, slide films with a sensitivity of 3200 ISO made it the only photographic medium, for example, to photograph people and situations in the subway without using additional light. Nevertheless, the reversal film was almost history at the turn of the millennium.
We are coming by now to check that your seatbelts are securely fastened. Seat backs and seat tables are in the full upright and locked position. And all those carrying items you brought on board are completely underneath that seat in front of you, leaving that area around your feet clear. Once again, nothing could be in those seat back pockets or on the floor in the front row for taxi takeoff and landing. Folks, if you have a purse, backpack, anything of that nature, it cannot be on your lap. Can't be on the seat next to you. It needs to go underneath the seat in front of you for any overhead for taxi takeoff and landing.
shouldn't be any red. It should be all green, which looks all right because that's so facing away from me. Now, can you see green now if I'm talking to I the microphone? I can see six green and one yeah, red. Yeah, well, that's perfect. But I want to hear what's gone on before and I don't know when to start. Okay, turn it up just a little bit. Oh, it's up quite a lot. I'm bound to have done this wrong. What do you want me to say? Um, your name? Suzanne. Any name will do. Any My name is Suzanne. And how old are you? Too old. <laughs> Until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned, that until there are no longer first class and second class citizens of any nation, that until the colour of a man's skin is of no more significance than the colour of his eyes, that until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without respect to race, that until that day the dream of lasting peace and world citizenship and the rule of international morality will remain but a fleeting illusion to be pursued but never attained.
long time ago a canoe load of Indians were out seal hunting. The weather was calm and the sea was smooth. Then a killer whale kept near the canoe and the young men threw stones at it. They hit the fin of the killer whale with several stones. Then the whale went to the beach. Soon the men in the canoe saw a smoke rising from the beach. They went to see who was there. When they reached the shore, there was not the skeina, the killer whale, but a man cooking some food. The man said, Why did you throw stones at my canoe? You have broken it. Now go get cedar withs in the woods and mend it. So the men mended the broken canoe. When they had finished, the man said, Turn your backs to the water. Cover your heads with your fur robes. Don't look until I call you. They all did as he told them. They heard the canoe grate on the beach as it was hauled down into the water. Then the man said, Look now. They looked, and there was the canoe in the water. But when the canoe came to the second breaker, it went under. When it came to the surface, behold, there was no canoe. There was a skeina, a killer whale. The man's spirit was inside the skeina.
не видно. Let us consider three statements. One, yesterday a man was run over on the Chelsea embankment. Two, Cleopatra's needle is on the Charing Cross embankment. And three, there are dark lines in the solar spectrum. The first statement about the accident to the man is about what we may term an occurrence, a happening, or an event. I will use the term event because it is the shortest. In order to specify an observed event, the place, the time, and character of the event are necessary. In specifying the place and the time, you are really stating the relation of the assigned event to the general structure of other observed events. For example, the man was run over between your tea and your dinner, and adjacently to a passing barge in the river and the traffic in the strand. The point which I want to make is this. Nature is known to us in our experience as a complex of passing events. In this complex, we discern definite mutual relations between component events, which we may call their relative positions, and these positions we express partly in terms of space and partly in terms of time.
nature is a process. As in the case of everything directly exhibited in sense awareness, there can be no explanation of this characteristic of nature. All that can be done is to use language which may speculatively demonstrate it, and also to express the relation of this factor in nature to other factors. It is an exhibition of the process of nature that each duration happens and passes. The process of nature can also be termed the passage of nature. I definitely refrain at this stage from using the word time, since the measurable time of science and of civilized life generally merely exhibit some aspects of the more fundamental fact of the passage of nature. Also the passage of nature is exhibited equally in spatial transition as well as in temporal transition. It is in virtue of its passage that nature is always moving on. There are two senses in which the terminus of sense awareness is unique. It is unique for the sense awareness of an individual mind, and it is unique for the sense awareness of all minds which are operating under natural conditions.
on use of those funds and try to uh, really get them what they need to address their most pressing uh, crimes um, and crime needs.
a young Jack Nicholas who really sort of blocked everything and everybody out until he got older and started thinking about that.
Enfin, philosophiquement, oui, d'une certaine façon. Parce que, par exemple, dans l'être et le néant, Sartre, à mon avis, montre très bien que cette espèce de synthèse qu'on appelle Dieu, qui sera à la fois, enfin là, nous allons entrer dans de la philosophie, pour soi en soi, est irréalisable et même réellement inconscient. Enfin, ceci dit, un croyant pourra toujours dire que, précisément, on croit parce que c'est absurde et parce qu'on ne comprend rien. Il me semble un recours un peu désespéré. Mais d'une façon générale, qu'est-ce que vous pensez des, des croyants Oh, je ne pense rien de façon générale, j'ai des opinions très particulières sur les uns et les autres, car ils sont aussi divers que les non-croyants. Il y a des prêtres progressistes avec qui je m'entends parfaitement, et il y a au contraire des athées, euh, mettons qu'ils sont précisément pour la pression, avec qui je ne m'entends pas du tout. Et il y a des croyants qui simplement font de la religion, au contraire, alors à ce moment-là, une justification mettons du capitalisme ou du colonialisme avec qui je ne m'entends pas. Enfin, ça dépend, vous savez que l'Église est très 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 divisée, en particulier, même à l'intérieur de l'Église de France, il y a d'énormes différences. c'est tout à fait autre chose. C'est d'abord, il faut savoir où il se recrute, il se recrute dans l'ensemble que nous pourrions appeler les techniciens du savoir, du savoir pratique. C'est-à-dire, il faut entendre par là aussi bien les professeurs, les chercheurs, que même les ingénieurs, les médecins, les écrivains. Mais bah, l'homme lui-même nous pensons, et ça c'est euh, voilà. un des points les plus importants de l'existentialisme, que, que l'homme est finalement la raison d'être de l'homme, son avenir et euh, la fin même de toutes ces, de toutes ces activités. C'est-à-dire que nous trouvons bien tout ce qui sert aux intérêts, au bonheur et au développement et de l'homme, et mauvais tout ce qui va contre. Et c'est là la base absolument fondamentale de ce qu'on peut appeler notre, notre éthique, enfin, ou même notre morale. Thank you. 
God, that looks good. I am. I just moved that one. S'éteignit la fausse aube fuyante, je crus ouïr la voix du tavernier dolente. Quand tout au temple est prêt, pourquoi l'initié branle-t-il au dehors sa tête somnolente Et puis, au chant du coq, les pratiques criaient devant la porte close Ouvre-nous donc, niais Ne sais-tu pas combien est brève l'existence Et qu'une fois parti, on ne revient jamais Voici que l'en nouveau ces vieux souhaits inspirent. Jésus par la terre soupire. La rose de l'Iran sans doute a dépéri. Le Jamshid est perdu, le Hanap aux sept pieds. Mais dans la vigne encore, un beau rubis s'enflamme.
werden Entwicklungen auf uns zukommen, auf welche die wenigsten von uns, schätze ich, sich bisher eingestellt haben und um die wir uns nicht werden herumschwindeln können. Wie sagte doch Abraham Lincoln, der große amerikanische Präsident, einen Teil der Menschen können sie die ganze Zeit zum Narren halten und alle Menschen einen Teil der Zeit, aber nicht alle Menschen die ganze Zeit. Krise ist ja nicht nur eine zyklische, die kommt und geht, sondern eine strukturelle, bleibende und dieses weltweit. Zwar hat die Mehrheit der davon betroffenen Völker sich von der hemmenden Last des Stalinismus und Poststalinismus befreit, aber die Krise, von der ich sprach, eine Krise nunmehr der gesamten Industriegesellschaft tritt dadurch nur umso deutlicher in Erscheinung. Wie lange wird der Globus noch, der einzige, den wir haben, sich die Art gefallen lassen, wie diese Menschheit ihre tausenderlei Güter produziert und konsumiert? Und wie lange wird die Menschheit sich die Art gefallen lassen, wie diese Güter verteilt werden. Berliner Tageblatt auf allen Städten.
Ich selber habe den Brand gesehen. Kurz darauf musste ich Deutschland verlassen. Sah es erst in amerikanischer Uniform wieder. Ein Überlebender.